before he asked someone to marry Blake. But I think she was worth waiting for. Thank you, Jesse. You know, I thought he was going to stay single for the rest of his life. Either that or marry someone half his age. <laughs> Jesse, I'd like you to meet my family. This is my granddaughter, Lucy. Hi. And my daughters in law, Donna and Sue Ellen. And my three sons, J.R. and Bobby and Ray. Well, I'm certainly happy to meet you. <laughs> now I know I've been away from Texas too long. I'd forgotten how handsome they grew the men in this state. Well, we thank you. Now, all I want to know is which ones are married and which ones play around or both. Oh, <laughs> I'm only kidding, Sue Ellen and Donna. But I can't remember which one belongs to which since there are three sons and only two daughters-in-law. Well, you'd have to fight me for the silver-haired one here. No, I think I'd rather tackle a, another mountain lion. Sue Ellen? Um, I'm married to J.R. I see. Well, that leaves Bobby as the single one. Well, that's only temporary. The ladies are lining up for him. I'm not surprised. But on the way back from the airport, Clayton spent almost as much time talking about you, J.R., as he did about Miss Ellie. I have a feeling you're the dangerous one. Well, yes, I have that reputation, but I'm kind to my family and close friends. Then I think I want to be your friend. You know, Clayton, there was a nice young man out there struggling with my excess baggage. Did he make it? He's here now. Oh. Well, there's china and linen for the ladies. Very British. And wool sweaters for the men. I hope I guess the size is right. Bobby, would you fix me a little bourbon and branch? Now, where's that special box? This one? Mm. I think it's appropriate to give this to the eldest male member of the Ewing family. It belonged to Henry's great-grandfather. It hung over the mantel in our home. All right, would you please? Well, this is beautiful. Are you sure you want to give us the family heirloom? Yes, I am. I want your family to know how important this marriage is to me. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica. Oh, thank you. To the Ewings, and to the Farlows. <laughs> to the Barneses and the Graysons, and the Wentworths. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, and of course, to the Wentworths, yes. Uh, to the union of these important families into the biggest, most powerful dynasty in Texas. Oh, Cliff, you don't sound like you're talking marriage. You make it sound like a merger. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Well, I'll just tell you, I'm so happy I could dance on the table. <laughs> Please don't. No, 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 Pam, now let him do it. This I gotta see. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I'll do one better. I'll kiss Catherine. Oh, oh my goodness, he has cracked up. <laughs> no, I finally want to put an end to any family dissension. From now on, it's one for all and all for one. Well, that's fine with me. I approve of that. Mm -hmm. uh, now Mark and I want to see you dance on the table, Cliff. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, there, there's one little problem. I... I have this terrific fear of heights, and uh, I'd just like to say I'm happy about your marriage, sis. I love the guy you're getting. Thank you, Cliff. And I wish you a terrific life together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.